I told you that the election result will be inconsistent and will be a shambo. You are going to see a scenario where the result will be read. Some of the media house will say Tunumbu won. Another media house will say no, it didn't win. The analysis will be different. And some group of people who feel they can just take the law will declare him president. He will be declared winner on falsehood. The day for swearing him to Nubu will come. While at that event, military men will come in and they will arrest Tunubu. During the swearing in, where he was waiting to be sweared in, and suddenly military took over and they sent him out of the place. Where they were about to swear him in, they sent him out. And after a while, the court would declare will be as winner of the election. A revolution is coming. A greater than MSAS is coming. People, the doors will be shut. You will not go to work. You will be in your houses. Future. Follow me. It will be declared winner on falsehood. The Lord, I saw Peter will be crying. Red eye in tears, proper tears. I saw Atiku like this. I told Atiku four years ago, I told this team four years ago that he will never sit become the president of Nigeria and that's the same within his tone. He will never. He will never. So there's nothing to bother. He should just go home and keep his money. But follow me carefully. How will this revolution start? Hear me. How will the revolution start? Somehow, the information will spill out that the election was rigged. And the youth will get to the street. It won't just be Lagos. It will be almost every state of Nigeria. The youth will get to the street and they will start the protest. This protest will be will lead to a revolution. You hear me? Peter will be will go to court. He will go to court. And the day for swearing him to Nubu will come. I saw white, I saw green. About to be sworn in that day. And everybody that has said he's the next president will be rejoicing. We say, Yes, I told you. Prophet, I don't see far. Was I tell you? Did I tell you to Nubu is the next president? And while at that event, it looks like a very open ground, like a stadium-like center. Mass, mass, you know, I'm, I'm telling you what will happen. So, uh, while at that event, military men will come in and they will arrest Tulubu. I'm playing the movie before you have it. So that you will know that prophecy is not just calling people's name. Mark my word. Too. I'm speaking from my office. I'm not speaking by a gift. You'll be arrested. And at that point, an interim government will rule Nigeria. The interim government that will rule Nigeria will not be military. It's not a coup. The military will partner with the interim government and they would ask who should be put on the throne. Buhari will say, I'm done. I'm for peace. And they will say, make Oshibacho. <laughs> Fear of previous relationship of Oshibajo with Bart, Oshibajo might say, I don't want. 
If he says so, they will look for another. That's the only condition. But what I saw, but that Oshibaju accepted and he became a person. But that side has a question mark, a condition to it. Are you loving the movie? Before the, twin, before the 29th, the swearing in day, when bath will be taken. Before that day, when bath will be taken, I saw Peter will be arrested and detained by DSS after the election. Because he's coming to play the role of somewhat like a Messiah, but not the way you define Messiah. And the way Messiah suffers, he must suffer. He'll be arrested and detained. When the moment that is done, please stay in your houses. The moment that is done, the revolution and the riots will increase. There will be killings. There will be destruction of properties. As the days to the election comes by, you will see more PDP governors joining Peter Obey. They might not declare publicly, but they will give him all the support that he needs. In the election, number one, in numbers of votes will be Obi. Number two will be Bat, number three will be Atipo. However, like I told you, it will be rigged, and you hear number one is Bat, number two is Obi, number three is Atipo. I saw United Nations intervening. After Tunbu is taken away, I think released for a while, he will also go to court. The interim government will not be long. No. The interim government will not be long. And after a while, a court will declare will be as winner of the election. Then I saw Peter Obi in Asorok. I saw him giving speech as a president of Nigeria, but not May 29th. The prophecy today is that Peter Obi will be swayed in as the president of Nigeria, but not on the 29th of May. It will be shifted. I told you that the election result will be inconsistent and will be a shambo. You are going to see a scenario where the result will be read and another media house will analyze it. They will have different analysis. The result that they publish with another one will be different. They are going to be inconsistent result concerning this vote that we are going to have. And the reason the reason is because of the rigging. I told you that there's going to be what? There's going to be rigging. In October 14, I told you there's going to be rigging. But the beautiful aspect of it is that the rigging will be discovered. If you remember the broadcast I gave in June 20, I said it will be will win, but will be installed after crisis. I told you of the vision of Tunumbu. Tunumbu when he was waiting for them to to, to swear him in because some of the media house will say Tunumbu won. Another media house will say no, it didn't win. The analysis will be different. And some group of people who feel they can just take the law will declare him president. And the people the other people will say no, you are not president. And then during the swearing in, I saw a vision. This is a vision of Tunumbu where he was waiting to be sweared in and suddenly military took over and they sent him out of the place where they were about to swear him in they sent him out and i saw another group of people that came and took over this group of people are both the military and the, the military and the um, interim uh, committee 
It's going to be for a short while. Osibanjo will be appointed as the head of interim committee or interim government. Obi is going to go to court and court will declare him president. There will be peace in this nation. There will be peace. And after the peace, you will see what will happen. Obi will be swept in as president of Nigeria.